Name that movie. Freedom! Since we're talking about freedom and all. <clears throat> Tell me if you think this is kind of strange. Yahoo leftist news. Now, according to multiple reports across Brazilian media and confirmed by Globo News, White House reporter Rachel blah, 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 Bolsonaro has begun telling close friends that he will not be in the country to hand over the presidential sash to Mr. Lula. Lula, Lula, Lula. And will instead be relaxing at... Mar-a-Lago? <clears throat> from which former President Donald Trump has ostensibly been running his 2024 re-election campaign, reports of Bolsonaro's decision to spend New Year's in Florida come amid growing concerns that la 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 la's inauguration is being targeted for terrorist violence, with incoming Justice Minister Flavio Dino announcing plans to bolster security for the event, after authorities arrested a man allegedly in the midst of a bomb plot. We're not talking about a lone wolf, Dino said. There are powerful people behind this, and the police will investigate. Bolsonaro's, well, alleged upcoming Mar-a-Lago stay is not the first time he's sojourned with, uh, or at Trump's Florida State, nor is it a wholesale surprise. In addition to having been particularly close during their respective administrations due to their shared sense of ultra-nationalism and far-right leanings, Bolsonaro is reportedly being counseled by former Trump administration officials Stephen Miller and Steve Bannon. <clears throat> so Bolsonaro is going to hang out with Donald Trump. And Tori Morris told us, Tori, watch Brazil. I think it was her, right? Watch Brazil. Pay attention to Brazil. Because so goes Brazil. So goes is uh, the U.S., essentially. So goes Brazil. Goes the U.S. Hmm. I want, you know, just throwing this out. Don't know. Didn't get a dream. Just throwing this out there. Wonder if he's going to be over here far away in a safe zone, taken to safety. And the military maybe does a operation regarding their little election problem they had recently. <clears throat> With Mr. La 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 Lula. I went to a swamp down in Dagoba. La La <laughs> La la la, his name was Yoda. <laughs> Y-O-D-A, Yoda. Weird Al, man. Weird Al is the best, isn't he? Weird Al. He went down to Mar-a-Lago. La 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 go. Um, again, is there something happening here? We're told to pay attention to that. In just a few days, we will be in January 2023. 20. No, how about 20? Not 20. 2023. In just a few days. Today's the 28th. 29, 30, 31. Fourth day becomes the first. And he's going to be over here before the first, hanging out with Trump in Mar a Lago. Again, I'm just throwing this out there. I don't have any secret information, but it's just, it's a good thought, anyways, that he's over here. Where it's safe, being brought to a safe place, like we've heard President Trump will be brought to a safe place at some point in time when certain things are supposed to happen here. And we're told, 
by Tori. Watch Brazil because that's how it's going to go here. Wink, wink. That's what she said. Again, I believe it was Tori. And you best follow her if you want her intel, just like Entheos. If we see that, he's over here, he's safe, away from anything that could happen, because again, he's way over here. The military steps in in Brazil. Again, this is just a big what-if example. I'm just making this up. Military steps in, does some major operations, cleans out the corruption, fixes their election, and boom, 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 boom. One, two, three dominoes drop. And we're told to watch that because so goes Brazil, goes the U.S., according to her. And I have no reason not to believe her. I mean, you know, <laughs> I wonder if that'll be a telltale sign for us. And if it is, and Entheos had told us, there's not going to be any voting in 2024, Entheos, if we just keep, this just keeps happening again. It just happened again in the midterms. January. Still didn't say another word. Just Entheos replied, January. He pulled a Joe Biden. January, I'm going to whisper because whispering's fun. And again, people, Joe Biden had a staged White House thing next door to the White House. And they admit it again. They admit it. Yeah, we just brought him over here because of... And they got the stupidest reason ever. The Joe Biden speech with the dark red background and the fake green screen added Marines behind him. Two Marines. Again, it was, a, it was an effing backdrop. He's giving the old Hitler... I mean... They're not going to come right out and just say you're watching a show. You know what I mean? But in order to let you still know, those of you paying attention, you're watching a show. We got this. Here's a little breadcrumb here. Here's a little breadcrumb there. Some of the, the you know, when they're filming Biden, he's talking, or, you know, they got a little side view, and you're like, what is this, like, cutout thing that's like, what is that? Is his ear, is right, attached right? Look. So blatantly obvious that, Without saying what, there's something that goes like this around his whole face. <laughs> you know, like, uh, hmm, what could that be? Um, and again, you couldn't clean that up. You left it like that. Okay, you look good, sir. Go, you know, whoever, whoever, sir is. You, yeah, you're good. Go on TV. Again, I, if you're an OG like me, you can sit back, relax. Again, do your flight lessons. Go enjoy your life, have fun, family, kids, play outside, Ian, you know. Went friend of ours today. Yesterday, my friend Shannon, longtime friend from like kid, kid, you know, young kid age. Never been in a helicopter. You're off right now? Yeah, let's go. Let's go for a flight. Yesterday, we flew in, got some lunch, left. Another friend of ours used to fly like, uh, what are those, the Cobras, the AH-64, 61, whatever, uh, attack helicopters for the military. This is like, you know, well over 10 years ago. Um, hasn't flown a helicopter since one of those, you know, over 10 years. And, uh, you know, ever since I got this thing, he's mentioned a couple of times, you know, a few times, like, because he still works in the, uh, the industry, so to speak. Not directly for the government, but, you know, um, and he flies a plane now. Twin engine plane is all he's been doing for like the last 10 or 12 years. So he's been itching a little bit to, you know, get a little seat time in the heli, in, a, in any heli. So I'm like, well, you're out of town for a couple months. You're back in town for a couple months. Boom. This was it. So today, let's go. All right. Let's go get the old girl. We drove down to the airport, flew once again, stopped, get some lunch, fly back. And uh, right off the bat, I'm like, you know, I know you've never flown one of these little helicopters and it's not a turbine. That's all he's flown is turbines. I'm going, but I mean, I'll come on the controls with you. You want to try to lift it off and hover? And he goes, yeah, I'll, you know, sure. I'm like, you know, you got to manage the RPM on this one manually, you know. And uh, there's the green line, you know, the green area. And in the center's 3,000, 3,100 RPM. That's your that's your max power. Okay. You know, so he, he picked it up. Little little wobbly, not real bad. You know, for not flying such a light helicopter in a piston engine, he did pretty damn good. You know, and after 10 plus years, you know, so I was like, not bad, you know, so I took the controls, let's hover out to the taxi and just take off from the taxiway and, you know, we'll go 
get some lunch and uh, come back. So, you know, I'm watching all this crap happening. I mean, I'm paying attention. But again, if you know you're, it's a movie, how upset do you really want to get and bothered by some of the stuff? You know, the, the judge threw out Carrie leg. Oh, my God. And now the appeals court's looking at it. And again, would I be surprised if the appeal or appellate court goes, yeah, you know, well, we're tossing it too. Oh, well, there's a Supreme Court. Oh, let's go to the Supreme Court. Under, you know, Rule 11 again. Oh, Rule 11, right to the Supreme Court. Tory said had replied to somebody. I wonder if that was the plan all along to go to the Supreme Court regarding Kerry Lake. And again, we've got the Brunson case, January 6th. One of Tory's own cases is also January 6th. Somewhat to do with election problem in Ohio, where she ran for Secretary of State. January 6th. Again, don't know what's going to happen. I can't say for sure. I, I mean, I would love for Entheos to message me like he did that one time with the Millennia Trump healing speech. Joe, uh, here's a little something for you. And just did it all over again. But the kind of intel that we'd love to hear and me come out and go, oh my God, this is what's going to happen. It's too hot. It's too, you know what I mean? It's too powerful for any of them to ever give out to us. People like me, oh, I'll go say something on YouTube. Because like he said, if we say things, you guys follow us closely. Believe me, the deep state follows us even closer, our every word. We can't just say certain things. We'd love to tell you because they'll hear it too. And that's intel for them. And he goes, you know, we can't have that. So understand, I, I just, we can't do it. So I noticed Truth Social now has private messaging up and running. So you can disable it or enable it for your account. <laughs> And Antheos has disabled his. I say his, theirs, whatever. Uh, and for good reason. I can only imagine, I can only imagine how many messages that son of a gun would get and be flooded and would never get to do what he, he does. They just would never have the time. So I can understand. But I was like, God, I wonder if there's some way I could message him. Hey, dude, we've got private capability. Can you, you know. Throw me a little interesting bone again, you know, like you did that one time about Melania Trump. The healing speech, not a speech. She will address the nation, Joe. You said speech. Uh, she's going to address the nation on that one. Oh. oh, I didn't think about that. You did say that. Okay. Got it. Hey, everybody. Got to recap what he told me. I've been saying speech. He said she'll address the nation. This is a bigger deal than just a speech. Oh, okay. And we saw what happened right after January 6th. Melania Trump, Trump excuse me. Comes out, addresses the nation, needing to heal the violence, da da da. Again, my inbox went nutso, nutso, flooded. Oh my God, oh my God, Joe, it happened, it happened. And again, that's when I made the own correlation myself going, oh my God, do you know what this means? Like back to the future, Doc, do you know what this means? What, Doc? It means that this damn thing doesn't work. No. It means that they knew Biden would win. They knew how it would go. They knew there'd be a January 6th problem. Insurrection, whatever you want to effing call it. Therefore, they knew she'd give the addressing of the nation's speech regarding what happened for January 6th. Again, if that's not clear-cut evidence, you're watching a movie script with the directors of Good Guys in charge. Like I've said a bunch of times, it's like we've already won. They've already lost. It's just playing out in a movie fashion. Like, it's almost like, you know, everybody signed the agreements, the plea deals, like it's already done. You're just watching a show. And they're, again, Carrie Lake, election problem, the judge throws it out under some nonsense, you know, she's going to file an appeal. And again, what's good, what do you think this appeal court's going to do? Appellate court. The court of appeals. Uh, of course, if it was meant to be to where they weren't supposed to do that. Oh, you're back already? Yeah. You already came back from the walk? Yes. Yes? You want to go outside and play? Yes. Okay. 
I'll be right there. Okay, close the door and I'll be right there. You can come in. Oh, it's a marker cap. Somehow in here. Come here. You want to say hi to everybody? Oh, play the singing goals. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. Come here. Bring them here. Come here. Let me show the people. Ah. Monitor's in the way. He's got a hold of those things. He likes dinging them now. Give a nice ring for the people. To let them know they're watching an effing show. This is not the show me state. Yes. It's the show, it's the show me country. And again, Brazilian president right now coming over here. And again, in my opinion, for safety, he will be brought to safety while maybe, again, I don't know this, but I'm guessing, military steps in and handles business in Brazil for the good, you know, good guy. Good team, good guy. That would be the best thing to watch right now if that happens. Because if it does, then you know, because Tori said so, it's going to happen here in a very similar fashion. You sing it, bro? Sing it. Sing it. Sing it, bro. Ding it and sing it. Yeah, yeah, do it. Okay. Talk to you later, my friends.